You know what's crazy? There are actually so many animals right around us here at the Pachita Lodge. So we're gonna go with the guide to go check out what's well, just like right here. The guide said there's a giant uh, iguana over here. So we're gonna go see it. We're gonna go see it. We're gonna go see a giant iguana. Okay, one of my favorite facts so far has been that none of the spiders here are poisonous to humans except for black widows. We have black widows at home. They have black widows not out in the forest, but in the city. Isn't that crazy? They're only poisonous to animals, not humans. So it's actually really good to know that if we see spiders, we're not gonna die. So the this spider web here, I don't know if you can see it very well. I'll get a better picture of it, but it's a golden silk spider and they're beautiful. The, the females are the colorful ones and the males are one tenth of the size. It's that little red one you see. And they are such cool spiders. Now they are poisonous, of course, for other animals, but not to us. Uh, they're, they're related to the black widow. And they don't have near as much venom or whatever poison I should say. But their, their silk is so strong, they say it's more dense than steel. And they've actually used it um, to do surgery and other things because it's such strong silk. <laughs> Incredible, from a spider. We're looking for animals. Yep. Oh, it looks like we're seeing them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What are we looking at? <laughs> Crazy. Oh, ah, run! Oh, That's so cool. That is so Bye. cool, huh? <laughs> that lizard's called a babo, and they call it a jungle runner because it's always moving, always eating. Uh, and it was really cool. You saw that yellow on there, it's really pretty. on the boat the guide said that um, the rain that you saw on the boat that happens usually twice a day he said if it goes like two days without rain here the animals suffer the plants suffer like it's a drought for them it's considered a drought if it goes two days without raining not that crazy he said the animals absolutely love the rain they come out in the rain they love the rain they like he says when it doesn't rain they miss it so I just found that super interesting that it's like two days without rain, it's a drop. Those are called tiger ants. And you see the cool stripes on them. They look like a tiger there. Um, he was saying he got bit by a bullet ants once and he said it hurt so bad he could feel it for the next three days. Crazy. So that mushroom is called a uh, a monkey brush. They say they've seen actual monkeys brushing on those mushrooms. Uh, they're not edible, but they're really cool mushrooms. My niece who studies mushrooms would love that. The caimans that we saw on the boat ride are more mild here and they're smaller in Costa Rica. And so um, he's like, you can, as long as you're not in their territory, you can even like swim when they're there. Like they're just, they're not aggressive here. So I was like, well, that's good to know, I guess, if you happen to be swimming where there's caimans. But he said crocodiles on the other hand, no, they're definitely aggressive. That is a wasp nest. It's really pretty, right? So they have bees here that are stingless bees, stingless honeybees. I like that. I'm like so surprised that none of the spiders here are poisonous to humans. Like I just can't get over that. What did you find? Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Yay! Is that fun? Jake saw a sloth. Let's go see. The 
hard part with like the sloths is because they're up high in the trees. It's like so hard to get a good like footage for you guys because it's like the brightness of the sky just kind of drowns out the sloth and it just looks like a big blob in the tree. Aren't these paths just like the most beautiful thing ever? And then you come to these like bridges. It's just so pretty. Wow. Oh, he's stretchy. He's stretchy. Hi, cute guy. Oh my god. Hi, cute guy. Keep talking to it. Keep talking to it. Yeah. Oh, stretch it out. Stretch it out. He's gonna have to sleep for a few hours after that. <laughs> He's going climbing up the tree. So this is a bullet ant nest. What the heck is he doing sticking a stick in? Look, 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 they're coming out. Oh no. See him? Yeah, I saw yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Oh wow. Oh, so they're pretty. They're big. They're big, yeah. The reason they're called bullet ants is because seriously, if you get stung by a bullet ant, people say it feels like you have been shot by a bullet, like serious pain. And bullet ants are the world's largest ant. What is that? Can you tell? No. But it's good. That's all that matters. I just noticed the pool is a turtle. A sea turtle. <laughs> oh, nice. This is how we get through mealtime. Is the coloring app on the phone. This is how we get her to eat and sit still. <laughs> Whoa. So we're at lunch and then right down here. Crap right down there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Crazy, right? <laughs> Some of you have asked, what is this Chinese group? Okay, so let me just tell you what this is really quick. So that's what brought us to Costa Rica actually is our children were in Chinese dual immersion in their schools. So their dual immersion teacher sent out this letter saying, hey, we have a Chinese cultural experience in Costa Rica. And we were like, wait, Chinese, Costa Rica, like what? They have a Taiwanese community here in Costa Rica. So they have this experience where they get to go for two weeks with this group, travel Costa Rica, have a culture experience inside of a Chinese school and um, 
just have an incredible experience. So we thought that would be a great experience for them. So we signed them up and that's what brought us to Costa Rica. So Benny and Jake are the ones that did the full tour with the full Chinese culture experience group. Sam joined halfway through. Joe and I and the two littles just joined when it sounded fun. And so um, that is what the Chinese group is. <laughs>